Good morning, super cool party people. I'm back at the theater and I'm a little later than usual because of rides, so it's kind of weird. It's like only half an hour, but it still feels like so much later. I think it's just because other staff start to show up around this time, so yeah. Anyway, it was like two o'clock when I got to sleep last night. I just, I can't win. I can't figure it out. Just don't get sleep. That's the new solution. If you're gonna daily vlog, you just don't get sleep. But I gotta get shaken and grooving, so I'm gonna go get my breakfast drink and then start my day. Alrighty, so I just got home and I'm sitting on the floor like a weirdo for a reason. Um, my plan after work had been to go to a coffee shop and write for a while, but I ended up going for lunch and meeting up with my sister-in-law and we had a package delivered so she wanted to come back and put it inside the house because don't want any package thieves coming along. But I figured because my bag was packed all for writing, why not do a what's in my bag? Also, because I don't know. I don't think I have anything else planned for today. So that's why I'm sitting on the floor. Oh my God, this is my bag. It is packed to the T right now because like I said, I was planning on going out writing and there's a lot of stuff I need because yesterday when I went out writing, I didn't have my planning guides because I was like, oh, I'll be fine. And then I was like, oh no, questions. And then I also didn't have some of my like, just jot it down notes. And I was like, oh no, questions. So we're just gonna get into it. So like I said, this is my bag. My auntie got it for me for my birthday, not this last year, but the year before. Um, I love it. It works pretty well for me. Although like today I'm kind of like, oh, is it big enough? It's supposed to rain today. So I do have a rain jacket inside the bag, which normally isn't inside the bag. Um, also it's sunny right now, so that's there. Also. It kind of smells like coffee because I'm like constantly in coffee shops with this. I find that if I go into a coffee shop like Starbucks and I'm there for a while, I smell like coffee even though I don't drink it. Water bottle. Always got to have water when you are out and about and writing and just, it's a thing. I usually, oh, I have gloves which are in here from when I was in Blind Channel because when I was packing to come out, um, I was cramming stuff anywhere. So typically those aren't in there, but what is typically in here is a battery charger and um, a cable so I can charge my phone. Fortunately, since I got a new phone, I don't need to charge as much, so I don't use that nearly as much as I used to. I have work keys. Normally I have house keys in there too. I leave my work keys in here all the time because this is always the bag that I bring to work because otherwise I might forget them. Now let's get on to more of the writing stuff. A laptop important. I don't know what else to say about that. And then I also have my agenda in the same slot. Fits in the back slot here. Um, I think I've showed it before. It just says, this will be my year. I keep a lot of notes in here, like what I want to do today. And then also other random notes like blog ideas, whatnot. I feel like I didn't think this through because I'm going to empty this entire thing, but that's fine. Now we need to go to the main compartment. So camera's normally in there. I also usually have this to kind of protect the camera bit or wipe it off. Not that I ever clean it, but I like to pretend I will. Headphones. I have to, I, I've talked about it before, I have to listen to music when I write. That's why I have these, they're Bluetooth. I've mentioned before my love of these. Wallets, so you can like buy things <laughs> like coffee, but not coffee because it's hot chocolate. Um, I also, because this is my work bag and I'm trying to be a little bit more environmentally friendly, I have reusable utensils. It's a spoon, it's a fork, and some chopsticks. I'd say I don't know when I would ever use the chopsticks because like I don't really go out um, to eat like Chinese food or whatnot very regularly, but I got really good at using chopsticks when I was living by myself because I didn't want to do the dishes and so I mean it got to the point where I only had chopsticks that were clean so got good at that so maybe one time I won't clean the other ones and I'll need chopsticks. This is my container that I bring my breakfast drink in. I still have so much stuff in here, guys. You know, going along with reusable things, I have a bunch of reusable straws in here, silicone and metal, and a brush to clean them. Not that I ever remember to clean them when I'm out, but I do clean them when I get home, usually. Pens, because you sometimes need a pen. I also have hand cream in here because I find my hands get really dry sometimes. I have the Herbicene Camille 
soft. I really like it and I'm not a fan of hand creams. I also have chapstick because you never know and and hair ties because you never know and then I've just got like pens and highlighters in there so many so many and it's funny too because I typically when I'm editing I've only been using this type which I showed I got like 30 the other day they're the paper bait ink joy in the fashion colors because they're cool or something um, but I do like the Pentel ones as well and then these ones so yeah I just like diversity and highlighters you gotta have highlighters too because you never know when you need to highlight something that's important but why just be normal and rational and just have a few highlighters when you can have these really cool pastel ones so these are the Stabilo Boss pastel highlighters I love them so much I don't use these like I don't use highlighters so much when I'm editing or when I'm writing it's when I'm doing all my planning that the highlighters really come in but I always like to have them cuz you never know next we have another pencil case bag thing and this one is full of post-it notes so I have eight different stacks of post-it notes in varying different colors uh, again this is I don't typically use these when I'm now nah. Never mind. I was going to say I don't typically use these when I'm editing, but my wall full of post-it notes would say otherwise. Um, I do tend to use them more after I've planned and I'm getting ready to write and like anything I want to add to my planning guides. I also have like these little guys which are super convenient. I like, I really love stationery. I've always really loved stationery and <laughs> it's so nice that in like the last year and a half or so I found a use for stationery because I would buy stationery and then <laughs> just not use it so I'm feeling better about that next I have this notebook oh my god I still have stuff in this bag so this notebook is what I'm referring to as like my editing notebook right now so basically I'm just going through and taking notes on my story as I go through look see stick it note um not using it as much in this third edit as I did in the last two, but still very helpful to have around. I also have this. Remember when I was saying that I had like some notes that I didn't have on me the other day? Well, now I carry them around, so I just have them in here in case I need to reference anything. There's like really poorly drawn maps in there and like distances between places. One day I'll draw a better map. And then last, but not least, very much not the least, are these. <laughs> these are my planning guides. I've shown them 8 million times before, but they're very integral to my writing. Eh, there we go. And they're just, you know, they're, yeah, good times. <laughs> um, I actually recently remembered that I had these little folder guys, which are so great because, as you might be able to see, these tabs are getting a little ripped. And it's just because they've been going in and out of my backpack so many times, so with these, perfect size, it protects them. Whew, but that's what's in my writing bag. I am exhausted. <laughs> I also have a mess here, but that's fine because I'm gonna do some writing, so I'll need it. Although like, the stick it notes and stuff, I have a million over at my desk, so I don't typically need those. I do, it's hilarious, I always pull this bag out when I'm writing, it's a makeup bag, but um, because it's got the hand cream in it, so I really should just buy a hand cream for my desk, but I don't, so this is the one bag that I always bring out. Anyways, that's it for now, but I did get some stuff from Amazon, so I've opened it already because it wasn't exciting, but let's go look at that. So this is what I got. I got a recycling bin for my room because as I've been doing so much planning and stuff, I feel like I've been going through a fair amount of paper and the closest recycling bin is upstairs in the kitchen and that is too far away to like consistently be going up. So I got that. I also, speaking of stationery, got a set of these. I have actually been using them so much. See, here's my little, what are you, cup of them. I've been using them so much that they're actually starting to die and that was on sale for 10 bucks for Black Friday so worth getting. And then lastly I finally got a bigger SD card for my GoPro. It's 128 gigs which is the same that I have in my this camera right here so I'm excited for that. Next I need to get a new battery or a second battery for my GoPro but 
baby steps. But yeah, so that's what I got from Amazon. That is what's in my writing bag. I'm gonna change into sweats now because who wears real clothes ever and then get on my list of stuff to do today, which includes making my bed and um, putting linens in the closet and upstairs as we further get ready for family to come at Christmas. All right, so I've been pretty productive. Um, if you look, I mean, I know we don't see Peiko's room very often. Yes, the hedgehog has his own room, um, but this was just covered in linens. So it's looking pretty good. Hedgehog is sleeping. Look at this picture that we picked up yesterday. He's so cute. Anyway, he's sleeping. He's definitely in there. So we're just gonna leave him alone because I've already probably annoyed him enough. Anyway, so that's looking pretty good. We're almost at the point where we can get a bed in there, which is a good thing. Um, linen closet, much bigger than the old linen closet. So tons of space in here. Blankets galore, pillows. But then also on top of the linen closet in the bathroom here, we have a giant bathroom linen closet thing. So I got a bunch of towels here. Yeah, you know. It's exciting to me. So I feel like I've had a productive day in the house, which means I can go be productive elsewhere. I mean, I've actually, like I worked and I did day it. So now it's just a, gotta get the trifecta by actually going to write. And I feel pretty good about it because yesterday I was super jazzed about writing. The only reason I stopped was because I was like, oh, I should probably go to sleep. Um, so yeah. We're at my room and remember, I just showed you everything in my bag. So now it's all over the floor, including my pants that I was wearing. And basically the worst. But yeah, I'm gonna, I guess, make my bed because we know how terribly it goes if I don't. And then get on to writing. Well, 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 it has been, I think, a pretty productive day. But I'm having a hard time quantifying my progress because of some factors. So like I talked about yesterday, I had a chapter that I basically had to rewrite and a chapter I had to add. So that put me up to 30 chapters. And then I had a chapter that was super long, so I decided to split it. Is that what happened? And then I think I split something else again. So now I'm at 32 chapters, or is it just 31? See, this is my problem. I have added a couple extra chapters, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I started at chapter 21 today, though, and I'm on chapter 24. But I think chapter... 24 was chapter 22, so I'm very confused. I am, however, closing in on 30 pages to the end of the book, which now that I'm getting there is a very crazy and weird thing. Um, I just, I don't even know how to kind of process that, but that's cool. We'll figure it out when we get there because I still got a little bit of a buffer in lead time, but with my good progress today, I'm feeling good about finishing by the end of the month because it's the 27th, so I still have 28th, 29th, and 30th. And I have six chapter, I don't know, I have a number of chapters left, but I think I'm still gonna do chapter 24 tonight, and hopefully it's not too, too long. Um, and then kinda just keep going. There's a few other things on my list for today that I do wanna tackle, but ooh, I need to blog still. I don't really need to blog. Just cause I have been daily blogging doesn't mean I need to. Anyways, um, so I have a few things left on my list I wanna tackle. I wanna get this chapter done in the very least. And depending how that goes, maybe I'll push everything off and just keep editing. We'll, we'll see what happens. So I've reached a very dangerous point now where I'm like, I'm at chapter five. I wonder how long chapter five is. Is it short enough that I can edit it now? It's quarter after 11 at night. Yes, it's short enough. This is why I haven't been getting to sleep till like two every day. Um, I just kind of puttered for about 45 minutes I was getting stuff done but it was in a puttering roundabout way and there were many YouTube videos but it's fine so I think I'm going to whip through chapter 25 here hopefully it won't be terrible it looks like because I think it used to be chapter 23 it looks like there's only one note for it which says awkward second paragraph so I think I can work with that so I'm gonna try to power through that and I will check in with you after and then probably go to sleep because it's gonna be late. I didn't even notice, but I passed the 100 page mark again, so that's great. There are 26 more pages to get through apparently and I just finished chapter 25, which means six chapters and an epilogue, I think. 
that's pretty good. That was good progress for today. Like I said, it's super confusing because I added like two chapters in today, but I still got a lot done, so we'll take that as a win. I don't know how to mark it on my calendar, so we're just not gonna. Um, and yeah, so I think today was pretty good. I am feeling the effects of that and just all the other stuff I did today, so I think it's time to go to sleep. Good call, good call. <laughs> So with that, I'm going to say thank you for coming along on today's adventure, and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night!